All right, we are talking 20 week appointment and did you already find out the gender or are you finding out now? My husband and I decided not to do the blood test to find out what the gender is at our eight week appointment or anytime between the eight week and 20 week appointment. I know a lot of people do and that's been actually a very common thing for people to do, especially because now people do those gender reveal parties. Uh, but we decided not to. We decided to wait until our 20 week anatomy scan. And then there's still another side where people just choose not to find out at all and wait until they have the baby to find out if it's a boy or a girl. Instead, we want to find out at our appointment today, then we get to surprise everybody else. I am 21 weeks and four days today. We have our anatomy scan in just a few hours. Yee! And we get to find out if this little baby is a boy or a girl. Then we have decided to wait until the baby shower, which won't be too long afterward because I don't wanna keep a secret forever. But we'll have our baby shower and that's when we will tell everyone what the gender is. So we're kind of mixing our gender reveal and baby shower. I have been so excited and the closer we've gotten to this day, the more nervous I've actually gotten. So yeah, uh, that will be interesting to find out today. I wanted to know, I almost said, hey, we should get the sneak peek test. Uh, you can go on Amazon and they've got these sneak peek gender tests that you can do. The doctor even uh, suggested it. There's also another clinic somewhere around where we live that we can go to, but we chose not to. We said, no, no, we'll wait. We'll just wait until the scan. And now we have made it to the scan and I am so nervous. I had trouble sleeping the last couple nights because I think now that we're going to find out, it's so real. I mean, obviously it's real. I've got a baby in here, but it's like so real. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm also scared, but excited. Have you wondered what happens at this 20 week appointment? So have I. We called and set up the appointment and the doctor or the nurse told me that I, an hour before the appointment, I need to empty my bladder, drink eight ounces of water, and then don't, uh, don't drink anything else and don't use the bathroom until after the appointment. So that's coming up here pretty soon. And then the appointment should last about 45 minutes to an hour. And we will get to see so many cool things at this anatomy scan. The first ultrasound we did, which is the only one we've had so far, was just over eight weeks for me. And it was just this little tiny blob. So cute, but it, it was just a blob. And now I've been feeling these kicks and movement and I get to actually see a real baby on the screen this time. So I'm so Super excited for that. And I know that they're going to be measuring bones and the length and lungs and heart and all these different parts of baby. I will be sure to let you know what else happens when I find out. But uh, at my last appointment, just to check in with my doctor, she just, you know, okay, let's find it. There it is. And took a measurement. Uh, they call it crown to rump. It's the head to the bottom just because you can't they don't really have legs and feet and arms and stuff yet. But now, baby is being measured now in the second trimester, now that we've gotten past 20 weeks, baby is now being measured head to feet. And they're also, this last appointment, she measured the fundal height. So that's of your belly and how it's growing. I'm excited to see what we find out about baby today. What do you think we're having? I did a poll with my students. I'm an elementary music teacher. And I had 11 classes that voted boy and nine classes voted girl. What's your vote? I feel like I have gone back and forth with what I think it might be. And I've had dreams where it's a girl and then I've said things where I say he or him. And so I'm not quite sure where I'm at with this yet. I've also had a lot of people say, well, there, there's a ton of boys on your husband's side. It's, it's definitely gonna be a boy. And that might be why I'm leaning a little bit more toward, well, fine then, I'm going to have a girl. But I don't know yet. And we can't know until we get there today. And it's going to be very interesting. 
and a little bit scary and super exciting and I can't wait to share all of that with you once we find out. All right, we've made it. We are here. I'm a little bit freaking out. Probably don't need to be, but I am. And we're about to head in. My husband's totally calm and cool, which is probably a good thing. Uh, and we will see you on the other side. All right, we are back. We just got home from our 21 week anatomy scan and we got to see all the things. It was the coolest. <sighs> I don't know, this is my first. If it's your first, let me know in the comments, but <sighs> so cool. And if it's not your first, tell me how did you feel from the first one to every other one. It's so interesting, I'm, I'm very curious. Did you still feel all these emotions every other time after the first? And we walked in, signed in, everything, and very quickly, I might say, they got me back into the next room. And we walked in and it was actually a dimly lit room. I was kind of surprised. I was like, are you gonna turn the lights on? But they didn't and it was okay and it was perfect. Probably also because I immediately went to laying on my back. <laughs> And I was actually appreciative that the lights were not on, <laughs> so it wasn't hurting my eyes. Um, I did think that was a little funny because, you know, you're not supposed to lay on your back very long or you're not supposed to sleep on your back, especially once you hit second trimester. But for that hour long appointment, I was laying on my back. I'm getting ahead of myself. So we walk into the room. She's like, okay, lay down and, you know, uncover so that I can, you know, put the stuff on your, the, the gel on your tummy and did that. And she starts looking and at, at one point I went, oh, did I see something? No, 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 I don't think so. And she's going through and sometimes I could tell exactly what she was looking at. Other times I was so lost, <laughs> especially when she would rotate, the nurse technician would rotate the picture and then all of my bearings were gone. I had no clue what I was looking at again. But um, turns out length is doing great. Baby's about one pound, I think it was three ounces. And it was so cool to see all the parts of baby again. Because last time we saw a blob, this time there's an actual baby in here. <laughs> it was amazing. Um, there were, oh my goodness, all the measurements. Um, head, different parts of the head, the brain, the heart, all the four chambers. Uh, the the femur, like the leg bones, both parts of the leg. Um, at one point, the little toes were kind of scrunching up. It was pretty cute. We got to see hands. Our baby was a little bit of a stinker and would not turn the direction that the nurse wanted. And so at one point she goes, okay, we got some time. I'm trying to get profile and face still, but why don't go, you go use the restroom first and see if that helps. So I went and finally got to relieve. Whew, man. An hour is a long time. I came back and tried again and baby still didn't want to move, still didn't want to turn. So um, the, lab the lab technician, she kept trying to kind of push and maneuver and get the baby to turn. Baby was head down and was loving its head in my pelvis and so just didn't want to move. And then when it did, it was sideways, but kept turning its back to us. And I was feeling all the kicks in the arms. At one point, baby crossed arms and was, you know, jabbing at me like, hey, move out of here. This is my space. It was pretty cute. And so then still couldn't get what we wanted. And the technician said, okay, we've still got time. Take about five minutes, 10 minutes. I'll be back. Get up, walk around, move a little bit. You can use the bathroom again if you want. We'll see if we can get the, the pictures. She walked out and we're standing in there. I was like, I gotta go to the bathroom again, I might as well just go. So I went in there, came back, was trying to move around a bit, even tried to tip the table up when I was laying on it to see if that would use gravity to pull baby out of my pelvis so that uh, she could get a better picture of the head, but was not doing what it was supposed to. So came back in and uh, she had me try the left side, try the right side. When I moved on my right side, baby was trying to do a somersault. It was so funny and the cutest thing, trying to do a somersault, but instead the head just kept curving under and would just stop there. And then like the legs would kind of try to push, but nothing, no progress. And so baby was just like hanging out upside down, trying, 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 and then stopped. It was like, I'm not moving at all. Oh my goodness, we were all cracking up. We just couldn't, it was so funny. <laughs> the lab technician was like, man, you better get that baby in gymnastics <laughs> when it's here. <laughs> it was too cute. It was almost surreal seeing 
the kicks and the movement and feeling them at the same time, I was like, oh, that's what's happening in here. I can see it. So that was pretty cool. All we could tell was there's the umbilical cord because baby had legs closed. It was like, mm -mm, I'm not moving. And then baby wouldn't rotate. And so we tried, you know, okay, go use the bathroom, see if that helps, gives us some more room or something. And eventually we did get to a point where we were able to see what we needed to see. I guess now you're just waiting to hear what the verdict is. We are having a little 